good morning everybody uh, today i'm going to talk about a uh, couple of formulas which are the basic formulas like sum average max and min max stands for maximum and min stands for the minimum and uh, these are the very basic formulas uh, which every excel user is supposed to know before he or she starts on excel so this is a dummy data which i have prepared and i'm going to explain uh, these formulas one by one so sum stands for total if you want to find the total of uh, of of like in this case you want to find the total of these companies let's say you want these are you know this is a turnover of abc company cdd and so on so what if you want to find the total you want to find the total of these turnovers so there is a formula called the sum which you can use and it goes like this you uh, write equals to equals to is a sign which is which has to be there for if you use any formula in excel you always start with the equals to that's the mandatory thing and then you write the formula right now when you write the formula you see uh, with this alphabet sum you have so many other uh, sum families so i'm not interested in right now in any uh, any other formula so i'll start with the sum so when you start this sum formula uh, you open the bracket you put this open parenthesis and then what you need to do is you need to put the numbers so number one number two now and so on if, if i say that i need to sum this and then comma and this this you see this range is automatically increasing so i can put in here um, you know numbers according to my requirement but this time what i want is i want to find the total number of the cells so i'll select this first cell and i'll press the shift and then i'll select this entire b2 to b7 and again this is a mandatory to close the bracket right it's a good thing to close the bracket uh, and if you don't close it excel will close the bracket for you but before entering the formula before you press enter just ensure that you should have this um, open parenthesis and close parenthesis and now press enter so this is how you can you'll see that you know uh, we are uh, able to sum up all these numbers these turnovers so that's basically my total turnover i can write it here okay just click on this so that it can be properly within aligned within this uh, column b okay so what if you want to sum let's say a company abc xyz and g h d in that uh, scenario what you want to do is again you want to use the same formula equals to sum but this time you will not go like this with the shift key right i'm pressing the shift key but you can't do this because shift is used when you are interested in using the range which goes in a proper sequence without skipping anything but this time we are interested in let's say the company called bct and we want to find the sum of let's say company xfd and then the company let's say ghd right so fhg is a company which i would like to skip so i can write it like this right so this is how you work on the sum so sum is used to uh, total the uh, uh, you know your this header or the field whatever you have uh, according to a situation uh, so you can use this sum formula uh, second thing is the average average is just as we know that uh, in order to find the average of anything you know you basically uh, sum the numbers first and uh, so suppose you need to now sum the turnovers and then you need to divide it by the number of entries which we have so in this case we have the six entries so you'll divide it by the six so if i talk in mathematics term then i will say that this divided by total number of entries which are one two three four five six so i'll get the average but you really don't have to do this mathematic instead of doing this you can directly use the average so i uh, let me use this average here you write here again equals to sign very important and then average and then start this number and this select this entire range because i am interested in averaging uh, these numbers all the turnovers uh, you know given by these companies so close the packet and press enter you, so you see this value or this value both have the same meaning and both have the same results reason being because we have directly uh, used here the average formula and in this we have actually what we have done is first we summed up the turnovers which is this one seven seventeen thousand five hundred and forty four and then we divided it by the number of the count which is six so 
that's the inbuilt formula in excel which you can use similarly if you want to find the uh, let's say the average of abc company and a uh, maybe this fgh and this let's say bct okay i'm just making them bold so you use this average function and go to this now this time i'll not select the entire range from b2 to uh, b7 because i have only a uh, couple of entries which i'm supposed to select and they are actually scattered so i'll start with the b i'll put the comma and then i'll start with this uh, b4 and then again i comma and then this cell right so this is how i can uh, calculate the average of these three numbers right so the formula remains same but it is just at the syntax structure changes here i use direct b2 to b7 because i wanted to average the all the entries but here i am interested only in three entries which are scattered which are not in a sequence so i have used this comma right similarly max is the option max says that uh, which one is the maximum number you know the largest number so you write mx and you select this again the entire range and you press enter so five five triple three which is a company gst it has the maximum it has uh, the largest you know this uh, largest number five triple three so this is the turnover which has the highest in ranking right so similarly if you want to find the minimum the lowest number you can write the min and uh, you can start the bracket and you can write this okay and then press enter so this is how these functions some average max min are used and similarly one more function we can use which is the count right now this count is used to count the numbers only so you can write here c o u n t and you see the this is uh, coming over here and you can start the bracket and you can count these numbers as well for example if i want to count how many cells are there so you can even count use the count function right so if i enter something here like any text please remember that this is going to reduce the count to 5 because this count function does not count the numbers it only counts the uh, it, it doesn't count the text but it counts the numbers only right so there is another function which is called the count a what if you want to count everything uh, which includes your alphanumeric your number or text you know so you can use the count a which is count all and write it like this now they both are six but if you see if i uh, enter something here like this you know you see count a is still returning me six and this is returning me five because it counts numbers only so let me write here it count numbers only and it counts everything except blank cells okay so these are the general formulas and uh, you can uh, you should know these functions uh, in order to uh, start your career in the excel or in order to you know carry on your day-to-day -day activity so i hope you like the video and uh, let me know if you have any questions regarding that have a good day